super excited about our next speaker because listen to this. He helped draft the regulations for the R&D tax credit. So when you think about that, he did research and development for the research and development tax credit. <laughs> so now, please welcome to the stage the founder of Ardius, Joshua Lee. Greg, yeah. oh. thank you. Best intro ever. That was awesome. So good to be with you guys uh, here today. Uh, I am uh, Joshua Lee. I'm the CEO and founder of Ardius, a company that helps automate and discover tax credits, starting with the R&D tax uh, credit itself. So uh, the more important thing is I am one of the newest Gusties here. Yay! And this is because Gusto acquired Ardius uh, earlier this year. However, much like uh, you, our team has been partnering with Gusto for years. And we couldn't think of a more perfect fit or time to integrate hashtag with Gusto. So here's a little bit about me. Uh, I started my career at Ernst & Young and led their West Coast practice in credits and incentives for about 13 and a half years. And for those of you counting, 13 and a half years makes me a historian by all accounts uh, in the accounting world. During my time at EY, I helped draft uh, the R&D uh, tax credit and the rules, especially as it related to software. And I was fortunate enough to champion a few committees to discuss exactly how to audit the R&D tax credit, which actually led to how the IRS now and how they actually audit the credit today in what they call the audit technique guide. So after EY, I founded a few uh, venture investing companies, which mainly focused on startups for about six and a half years. So during the season, I invested in about 23 startups and each of them, stop me if you've heard me, you know, this one before, after learning about my accounting background, asked me to do uh, a review of their financials, their tax returns, their payroll, right? Free advice is always good advice, right? Um, and see if they've missed anything. And so when I get this question a lot, uh, I want to share a, a picture or an analogy, it's my favorite, when someone comes up to me and says, hey, did I miss anything on my financials or my tax return? It's like six blindfolded doctors and asking them to describe an elephant in the room, right? It's like, oh, it's a spear, it's a, it's a snake, it's a tree. And as accountants, the expectations are somewhat high, right? By showing you the books, the financials, or even some numbers, the expectation is that you should be able to identify everything and be an expert in everything. But here's the truth, right? As knowledgeable, up-to-date, smart as we can be, as that trusted advisor, we may miss something or not be an expert in everything. Because how do you know what you don't know? Which is the why, right? Why do I believe, or specifically we, as an accounting profession, why do I believe we deserve more credit? Recently, they did a study um, about, at the Wales University, they just concluded a study that just, uh, was this this last month, about the top misconceptions surrounding the accounting profession. So I wanted to share those with you. I kind of lay that on top of myself here to see if, how accurate these were. But just as a, as a kind of a fun interactive in the chat, see if you can guess what some of these top ones were. Here's number four. Accountants don't need to be creative, right? And I don't know about you, but I tend to think of myself as a pretty creative person, right? Uh, when I first started my career at Ernst & Young, I wrote a, a rap song about you know, how I love tax, right? <laughs> So I, I, I tend to think I'm a, a little bit creative, right? Uh, number three, only introverts enjoy accounting. And I've heard a lot of the speakers you know, that came on before me. I can tell you one thing, not everyone is an introvert. A lot of people are extroverts, extroverted introverts, but I, I don't know about this one. Uh, number two, accountants work long hours. Okay, maybe something, some things are true. Um, that, that, that is actually one that might actually be true. And here's the, here's the kicker. Can you guys guess what number, the number one misconception of accountants uh, are? Boring. Oh, boring. <laughs> accountants only have one job. One job. And ask any accountant. Expectations of, of making sure that things tie out, that they reconcile, uh, financial planning, taxes, profit and loss statements, our job is anything but one job, right? To have some, some fun with this, 
I was reminded of some other you only had one job moments and wanted to share a few with you uh, today. The first, you only had one job, right? <laughs> Second one, oh, my favorite. I haven't had one for a while. This is the uh, famous fish fillet, right? You only had one job. And my kid's favorite. Imagine pulling up to this intersection and you're, <laughs> you only had one job. So what is Arteus? What exactly is Arteus? In the most simplistic form, it's software that integrates with your financial inputs to find, maximize, optimize tax credits. Even after identifying the most commonly missed items from my 23 portfolio companies, it was difficult to actually find someone to help. Our companies were small, they were pre-revenue, pre-funded, pretty much pre-everything, right? So imagine how hard it was to get someone to actually help us. So summer of 2018, we decided to strategically start with the R&D tax credit. I was fortunate enough to know some top-notch developers who like challenges. And what could be more challenging and as exciting as tax? What if we could automate labor-intensive tasks and accomplish them in hours and days as, to, as opposed to the more traditional ways that usually take weeks or months? Again, not to displace, but to optimize the accountant's time so that we might do more meaningful things. We understood that about 80% of all companies that are eligible for the R&D credit didn't even know they qualified for it. Big credits were traditionally reserved for bigger companies that could afford big time fees. There was definitely a gap in helping serve these small and medium sized companies, especially those that could utilize R&D credits to offset their payroll taxes. So we set out to democratize taxes, help accountants and companies claim these credits that they so deserve. So the method of claiming and substantiating credits involve very complex and labor-intensive tasks. In fact, even if we did have a credit, the fees that we might uh, be charged might be even higher than the credits themselves or even prevent us from claiming them. For example, we invested in a startup that had nine employees with an average salary of $90,000 to $100,000, and the R&D tax credit was about $100,000. But our proposal to claim this credit turned out to be about $75,000. I literally got laughed out of the board <laughs> for proposing this. This is because tasks related to claiming these credits are not only repetitive, but they're very intrusive to the clients and their time as well. Some examples are we might have to do interviews with the clients, affidavits for signatures, data collection, analytics, compliance, optimizations, and documentation. Well, as it turns out, a lot of these processes can be automated with software. So we've simplified the process. At RDS and Gusto, we've imagined taking different inputs and integrating them into one platform. So for example, we use APIs to download data collection. We can use machine learning to do analytics, looking up job titles, location, vendor names. We use automation for compliance. We can tap into GitHub, Jira, look at your epics and commits, right, for documentation. OCR for textual and numerical recognition, and then basic algorithms for calculations and optimizations. We believe that there's a data and digital footprint that allows us to create drafts of your credit rather than having to interview the clients and taking up their precious time with questions and kickoff meetings like, so tell me what you do again, right? We could already do this before we even meet with them. So how are we doing? Since 2018, our R&D tax credit software has found on average two and a half to four X more credits. Because of automation and software, we're able to scan hundreds and thousands of transactions. No credit is too small or large. We've done credits ranging from $1,500 all the way up to $2.4 million. We've increased our headcount by 250% since June of 2021. And we absolutely, absolutely love 100% working with CPAs. So the when, when is this all happening? Well, the answer is now, it's the economy of now. The industry is changing, right? Companies are getting access to services that weren't actually available before. Each of these logos on this slide represent things that used to be done manually for very, very high bill rates. Most of these functions were not even accessible to the smaller, medium-sized companies. The good news is that with each of these new platforms, a lot less manual time is spent 
which allows us to do more important things for our client and customers. So what does that mean for us? Together with Gusto, as an integrated platform, we're able to utilize payroll data to generate R&D credits and then use Gusto's platform to offset them on a real-time basis per paycheck. No more, no more waiting around for a check from the IRS that could go anywhere from three to nine months. We're now able to offset payroll taxes and utilize the credit on each paycheck. And this is just the beginning. Other credits are on the horizon. Tax laws are continuously just changing. And we want to be a partner with you to help service all of our customers together. Our goal is to partner with you to provide the best accounting and R&D experience in a streamlined and automated platform so that each of you can have your time back to focus on customer growth and engagement to service your customers. Features that were only reserved for big accounting firms, we can now offer together risk-free. We can, yes, we can spend our time in doing less things that are manual and focus on customer growth and engagement. An example, last year we partnered with a CP firm called Calculate. They understood that we could help them fill in a gap and give them an added service they had never done before. Prior to Ardius, they never knew if their clients truly qualified for the credit and were worried about associated audit risk if they didn't properly document and substantiate the credit. So we automated the process for them. We told them that when a customer might qualify, whether any money might be left on the table, and provide them the reports and details they needed to file the credit for their customers. In the end, we're partnering together so that they could add value to their clients, keep them competitive, and give them time to help sustain and grow their business. Another favorite of mine, Aliyup. It's a beauty brand that has never even considered taking the likes of an R&D credit. They had heard about the credit from their CPA, but didn't know if they would qualify and how the credit could actually be used. When our, so when our software looked into their payroll data, we found not only did they qualify, but they could use it against their payroll taxes, and the net results were phenomenal. $223,000 of R&D credit. That was phenomenal. So what is next since we're at Gusto Next? Right? We definitely are excited about what's next by adding these additional services within Gusto's existing platform. We firmly believe we can give you a competitive advantage and accelerate value together. There is no better time than the present. If your clients aren't asking you about things like the R&D credit, maybe they will soon. Or it could be a great time to proactively bring it up to them. So at the end of the day, we at Gusto here recognize all that you do. We deserve, you deserve more peace of mind. You deserve more support. And ultimately, you deserve more credit. I wanted to end today on a dare. It's a dare that you know, my 12-year-old son had dared me to do. And it's to share that rap song that I had uh, drafted. And it's turned out to be more of a poem uh, than it is a rap song. So uh, don't dare dad to do things. I I'm actually going to do it. So here it goes, the, the gusto premiere of, uh, of, of what I told. Uh, I love tax. I know it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so I know it might sound strange, but we love credit and tax. We do it so accountants don't have to do so, so they can relax. We specialize in companies with R&D, but not many companies know who they actually might be. <laughs> Most people will say, hey, Josh, I don't think we qualify. But to you, we might say, you might actually be surprised. Your customers don't need to have income, taxes, or even revenue. All they need are employees and payroll taxes, which probably make their burn rate feel rather blue. Now, this is where my son chipped in for the remix here. We're building something special with Gusto. I can feel it in my gut. So let's get out there and kick some butt. I've come to the end of my Gusto Next talk. I wish it weren't so. So the only thing left to say is go with Gusto. So thank you. Love to connect with you guys. rdace.com backslash Gusto Next. Thank you.